Congratulations. We're thrilled you've chosen to join the Tier 1 family with the purchase of your whole home carbon and KDF water purification and salt-free softening system. This video, along with the printed guide, will lead you through the installation process. Before we get started, there are several important things to go over. The maximum allowable inlet water pressure is 125 PSI. Use a pressure reducing valve to reduce the flow if necessary. Be aware that if daytime pressure exceeds 80 PSI, nighttime pressure may exceed the maximum. Before installation, position the system components along the wall where they will be mounted in this order. Pre-filter sediment reduction housing, carbon and KDF tank, and the salt-free softening tank. Before beginning, connect the system to the main water supply before the water heater. Never run hot water through the system. Do not install a system where it could freeze. If your hot water tank is electric, turn off the power during installation to avoid damage to the heating element within. System components must be mounted in the right order. For well water installations, install as close to the pressure tank as possible. For city or municipal installations, install as close to the water meter as possible. Check for fit and accessibility, keeping in mind you will need to leave 8 inches between the pre-filter system head and each of the tank head adapters. You must install the pre-filter sediment system level with the tank head. Okay, now make sure the area where you will be working is cleared and clean. Then turn off the main water line to the house and release residual water pressure by opening a downstream faucet. Let's get started. First, gather the tools you will need. Power drill with a 3 16 inch drill bit, adjustable wrenches, Teflon tape, razor knife, and plumber's putty. Next, open the box and lay out all of the system's components, double checking to make sure you have everything. The system is made up of three main parts, a sediment pre-filter, a carbon and KDF tank, and a salt-free conditioning tank. Now, let's begin the system installation. When possible, remember to attach the pre-filtration system to the wall at equal height with the tank adapter. If you will be mounting your pre-filter at a different level than your tank as seen in the video, make sure that you have dry fit your system and measure the amount of pipe that you will need before you begin installation. If you are unable to install your system easily, you may want to contact an installation professional or local contractor. As mentioned previously, ensure you have enough space needed for proper installation and filter changes before attaching anything to walls or water lines. 8 inches of horizontal space will be required to allow for the appropriate installation of the flex connectors to the pre-filter head and tank adapter caps. First up is installing the pre-filter system mounting bracket. Hold the loose bracket to the wall. Using a pencil, mark where the mounting screws will be positioned. Drill four pilot holes to accept the mounting screws. Insert screws and tighten to attach the mounting brackets to the wall. Be sure that the mounting bracket is securely installed into a wall stud or is secured with the appropriate wall fasteners or anchors. The next step is to assemble the pre-filter cap and connector assembly. To attach the filter system to the head of the bracket, thread each of the four bolts into the filter system head. Once the filter system head is mounted, dry fit the system sump into place. If the system fits as required, make any final adjustments. We are ready for our next step. Now let's attach the filter head adapters or nipples to the pre-filter housing cap adapters. Wrap each nipple in Teflon tape to ensure a tight and leak-free connection. Some homeowners or installers may want to use plumber's putty or cement on these connections if connecting plastic adapters to copper piping. This will aid in ensuring a safe bond. Once the pre-filter nipples have been prepared, thread them into the pre-filter system head. Now we will connect the inlet outlet adapters or nipples to the filtration system tanks. First, remove the red locking brackets from the tank heads. Then, lubricate the adapter or nipple o-ring gaskets with the food grade silicone lubricant. Make sure that the lubricant entirely covers the o-ring surface. Once lubricated, insert the inlet outlet adapters into the tank cap. Reinsert the red locking brackets to secure the adapters. Repeat this process on the second tank. Attach the flex connector to the nipples. The flex connector has an internal gasket that will ensure a leak-free fit. Finalize the flex connector installation by gently but firmly tightening the fittings with a wrench. Do not over-tighten plastic parts or over-bend flex connectors. Over-tightening can lead to leaks. Now prepare and install the inlet nipple from the first tank and outlet nipples from the second system tank. Wrap the nipple in Teflon tape to ensure a tight and leak-free connection. You may want to use plumber's putty if connecting the plastic nipple to a copper pipe as we have done here. Once connected, attach the outlet nipple to the tank and reinsert the red locking bracket. 
Now it's time to install the system ball valve or shutoff valve. Prepare the ball valve adapters in the same manner as the inlet outlet nipple adapters from the pre-filter and second system tank by adding Teflon tape and plumber's putty. Attach the ball valve to the inlet side of the first system tank. Review the system and ensure it has been assembled in the correct order. Water entry and house water shutoff valve, pre-filter system cap, flex connector if possible or additional piping, ball valve or shutoff valve, carbon and KDF tank cap, salt-free softening tank. After your final installation checks have been made, close the ball valve. Slowly turn on the house's water main valve. Check the pre-filter system for any drips or leaks. If no leaks occur, slowly turn the ball valve, allowing water to run through the two system tanks. It will take each tank several minutes to fill with water. As the tanks fill, watch for any drips or leaks. If there are none, you are ready for the next step. Go to the water faucet nearest your new system. To allow any debris in your pipes to flow free, you may want to remove the faucet's outlet screen at the end of the spigot. Turn the faucet on and let it run for at least 5 minutes to free any trapped air or foreign materials. Air sputtering is normal and will occur. Once system flushing is complete, turn off the faucet. Now, cover the system tanks with the provided tank sleeves. Your whole carbon and KDF water purification and salt-free softening system should now be fully operational. Under normal operating conditions, filter and softening media last for up to three years. If you have any further questions about the installation of your system, please reference the instructions included with your unit, visit our website, or contact our customer service department. We're here to help.